Hi and welcome to this Excel tip. Here I'm going to show you um, a very quick and easy way that you can make your columns numbers instead of letters. And it's really um, <clears throat> when you change it called the R1C1 reference style. But uh, you may be asking why would I ever want to do that? That is really confusing. Well, if you're working a lot in macros or you need to make cell references that um, are in numbers, not letters, right? ABC. Then you're going to want your columns to be numbers. That's going to make writing your code and writing your formulas a lot easier if you can easily see what they are. So to change columns from letters to numbers, go to the Office button, Excel Options, then go to the Formulas tab. Right here you're going to see R1, C1, Reference Style. Check that, click OK, and then you have columns as numbers so it can really help you out. One thing to note though um, is that when you do your formulas now those will be in R1C1 style. So see R minus 2, C minus 2. All that really means is back to 1, 2, up to 1, 2. Um, so you do have to do that but if you just want a quick way to figure out what column that you're in without using a formula or function you can switch a workbook to this R1C1 reference style find out the numbers for all the columns you need then switch them back so that is the very easy way to um, get those column references to switch it back it's obviously just as easy office button Excel options go to formulas switch it from R1C1 reference style um, now, one thing I'll just show real quick so you can see what happens if I make a uh, cell reference, right? B1. So we know it says B1. So let's go ahead and change it with formulas. So formulas tab, R1C1 reference style. Now that's changed to that. Oh no, what am I going to do? I just did this to get the column references. Well, when we change it back, go to the formulas tab. So all I'm doing is now taking the R1C1 reference style off it went back to B1. So you're not going to mess up your spreadsheets that you currently have by switching back and forth between the two. So it could be a useful, or it is a useful method um, to get the column numbers when you need it. So that's it for this tip in Excel.